Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. And welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex! 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 And today's topic is dating, the cost of doing business. <laughs> and this should be a pretty quick one. I mean, there's yeah. not, a lot of not, not a lot of nuances, at least, you know, on the front end. Yeah. You know, finances are a big deal for a lot of people. And I'm going to preface this with, if you're young... If you're a student, if you're on a fixed income, or if you kind of fall into that um, artist, <laughs> musician, skateboarder, <laughs> yeah. girls know what they're getting into. Yeah. So you can do free stuff, you know, do stuff at home, or you know, have bounce from your apartment where you can kind of like pregame. Yeah. It's understood. Yeah. But what we're talking about today is adult world. Adult world <laughs> where you're most guys are professionals. Um, and there's a lim- minimum expectation you should have some uh, spendable cash. Right. You know, so that's if, if you're on a budget, we get it. But this is for adult world and, and people that are kind of like dating a lot. Um, the first rule is, of course, first dates, second dates, no dinners. Yeah. This is the first rule that helps you avoid large outlays of cash. Drinks, not food. Yeah, drinks, not food. And the reason we always tell people, hey, we're going to just meet up for drinks. One, it takes away the date pressure. Yeah. You know, I, I never fuck on the first. Hey, we're not going to we're not gonna have a date. We're just going to meet up. Yeah. You know, it's just, it takes that pressure off. Um, and the real reason as, as guys that we do di- drinks instead of dinner is because if she's lame, if she's revealing stuff that you're like, oh, I got to get out of here. Yeah. Or, you know, you can bail. It's much easier to bail. And really, oh, your first gosh. couple of dates, you're really, your job is really like screening these girls. Yeah. You know. So much easier to bail. Where if you're in the middle of dinner and you're like, oh, fuck, get me out of here. And yet, you haven't, you've ordered, but you yeah. haven't even gotten your food yet. Yeah. What a nightmare. Some dates, some date, drink, dinner drinks, I mean, drink dates won't last as long as you would have like sat there and waited to order. I mean, you can read a girl off sure. and you're like, yeah, this isn't, she's, when you walk in, she's not who she says she was. You know, she doesn't look like her pictures or she's carrying more weight or for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, she has a negative attitude. She's busting your balls too much. Yeah. You're like, I don't need this. It's not fun. Yeah. And any time that you feel that you need to bail, it, it just allows you to bail more quickly. And yeah. so that's the real reason for drink dates. But it also... Keeps it cheaper. Yeah. You know, depending on where you're at, you know, you, you might get out of there with it with, for 20, 30 bucks as opposed to dinner, you're almost always going to go 70 to 100 or more. Right. Depending on your neighborhood and, you know, where you're at in, in the U.S. But that's the real deal is one dinner, uh, I mean, is a no go. And, and there's also other reasons, but all you got to know is if you're on a budget, it'll help. Yeah. You know. Well, and if you're if you're dating a lot, if you're if you're working through the apps, if you're working through day game, if you're getting people from you know apps to your to the table, yeah. you don't you you don't want to have to be spending three five hundred dollars every no. night for dinner, drinks, the whole the whole shebang. That's once ridiculous. You start, once you start rolling on this, you're going out two or three times a week. Right. You know, you're. It's a big deal. Go, Holy shit! That's. I mean. You know, three or four hundred dollars a week, and then at the end of the month, you're like, "Shit, that's twelve, fifteen hundred dollars." Right. So you know, you got to make it. You got to use your brain about this. Two, um, you don't ask. You know, to split the bill. That's the. You know, you don't split. The, you are responsible for the cost of doing business. That's going out on dates, um, and you got to think. You always pay for quality stuff. So anything you use daily, you know, what what do we say? Like if your car, certain things, yeah. you just pay for quality yeah um anything that you're using and if you're going to find quality women you have to invest right you know what i mean i mean it's just kind of like materials or anything of any value going out with chicks is not a time to be cheap no you know you need to invest some money in it i mean just like you need to buy nice clothes you need to kind of know what's going on have some personal development yeah have a gym membership. All of this is yourself. investment. It's in an investment your in future. yourself and your your long term quality yeah. of life. I mean, there's no reason to uh, to spend hundred bucks on on a gym membership 
three or four hundred dollars a month on supplements, work your ass <laughs> off, spend a thousand dollars on clothes, and then show up and want to split the bill. Yeah, you know, I mean, good it's just point. it's incongruent, and it's not good mentally. No, you know, it's, it's bad programming, and and it puts girls off. I've seen girls that insist, you know, at least. On Twitter, they insist. Maybe in the real world, they they insist on like paying half. I didn't ever deal. With I was going to say, did you no, ever run into that? No. Um, but the way to pay the bill is simply she's going to be talking, or yeah. you, you know, and just you know wait for the bill. Just hey, I just need to tab out, and then when they bring it over, you always already have your credit card out. Just put it in there. Don't even look around. Yeah. Put the credit card in there. They'll bring it back. You just sign it over tip. It's good programming, mm -hmm. no matter what, and then just let it go. Yeah. And don't think about it. She may offer to pay half. Hey, you know, let me take care of. No, you're good. You know, you can take. You can go out. You can pay the next time we go out. Right. You know, right. And and you never bring it up again. Right. They're they're being polite. They don't want to pay. No, we do not. And quite often, this is a girl's relationship with money. And if you ask, do you have any cash on you? No. Exactly. They they don't have any. Do you have a credit card on you? No. No. They actually show up to dates with nothing. Listen, our first date, you know, you were 30 minutes late. I mean, all be at your system. And so I ordered a drink because I thought I am sitting here alone. And I had paid for it because I was like, okay, it's been almost half an hour. I'm, I better pay... I think I had like $16 to my name yeah. and it was like $16. It was kind of one of those panic things where you're like, is this going to go through? Yeah. I might have a problem here. Always assume <laughs> girls have no money. No. Because quite often they don't. No. They, they might have it in the I'm bank. I'm sure I did not tip well that No, night. that's funny. But just assume they don't have any money. Yeah. And that's how you run it. You know, you don't have, you know, you don't have to be a big spender, but just know that it's a cost of doing business going in and you know you're investing in your future even though you might go through a lot of women initially over time you know it is the cost of doing business to meet greet kind of filter them in and out well and i think that's an important point you're investing in your future yeah whether yeah. whether the girl in front of you right now is going to be the the mother of your children and the grandmother of your grandchildren does not matter it's, it's all about the mindset. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Because you don't know who you're going to meet going yeah. in. That's why you're dating. Yeah. You know? So you don't want to cheap out on and then miss out on a quality girl. Right. You know, by doing something stupid. So that's the real deal. It, in dating, there's a cost of doing business. If you're not there, you don't worry about any of this bullshit. Right. It has nothing, you know, if you're like 21, you just got out of college or you're in college, you can have them come over and pre-game at the apartment. Yeah. They, they get it. They're it's used different. To, you know, it's a completely different world. But, um, you know, in the adult world, you you got to expect to have to put some an outlay of some investment mm -hmm. to get a return on, on that. Exactly. At the end of the day. And I think all of this is covered, and then some, in your Dating Systems book that is coming out this week. And it is fucking phenomenal. I've been editing it, and it is... It's, it's literally Fort Worth Playboy's gaming system, uh, dating system, but it's, it's written in a way that you can apply it to your Specific. system, wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in your journey, wherever you are in dating. It is, it is definitely, truly your dating system. It's just a workbook to get you set up for winning every, every time. So many guys bust their balls to get a girl in front of him. Uh-huh. And then he's got no plan. Yeah. No logistics. Yeah. No idea how he's going to move her from where she's at back to his bed. Yeah. And so we take care of that. We help you build a system of getting her from in front of you, or as we say, from a stranger to your banging her in your bed. Ah, uh, you it's know? so good. So, it's so worthwhile, and you will benefit a great deal from it. Yeah, logistics matter. So if you like this podcast... Please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends, and comment below. We love your stories, and we want you to win. Bye!